Your Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas, President of the Palestinian Authority, Mr. Vuk Jeremich, President of the General Assembly, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations, Ambassador Hardip Singh Puri, President of the UN Security Council, Ambassador Palita Kahona, Chair of the Special Committee to Investigate Israeli Practices in the Occupied Territories, Mr. Jeffrey Feltzman, Under Secretary General for Political Affairs, ladies and gentlemen, as we officially open this solemn meeting, the new tragedy which has struck Gaza and its surrounding areas is still fresh in our minds. On many occasions, we have drawn the attention of the Security Council to the dangerous situation in the territories. Yet, the international community has not been able to find the means for a new impetus to restore peace in time. Our committee has strongly condemned the violent attacks launched by the Israeli army against Gaza, which has already endured so much suffering. Our committee has also denounced, just as strongly, the indiscriminate rocket fire originating from Gaza. Never has peace been more essential for all the peoples of the region, yet never has it seemed so far out of reach. Ladies and gentlemen, we are meeting here once again to mark the occasion of the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian People, commemorated on the anniversary of the adoption of the United Nations Partition Plan in 1947. The day invites us to review the decades which have passed, during which almost everything has been tried in vain to establish a definitive peace. The promises to bring justice to all the peoples of the sub-region, including the Palestinian people, have languished year after year to the great distress of the five million refugees who still await in exile a solution to their tragic fate. The year 1967 marked the beginning of the Israeli occupation, which will soon have lasted 50 years. During the 1990s, the Oslo Accords brought hope by laying the foundation for a transition that was to be completed by 2000. The roadmap of the Quartet, for its part, predicted that the two-state solution would be in effect by, 20, by 2005 at the latest. Nothing of significance came out of these deadlines in which the Palestinians placed great hopes. The peace initiatives evaporated. The committee will continue to fulfill the mission entrusted to it by the General Assembly as long as the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people are not being fully respected. We will remain mobilized in favor of a definitive settlement of the conflict based on the two-state solution, which will be just and durable and will allow Israel and Palestine to live side by side in peace and security. I thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor of giving the floor to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. So you have the floor. ...of realizing the just and lasting peace for which generations of Palestinians and Israelis have longed. A peace that ends the occupation that started in 1967 and ensures that an independent, viable and sovereign state of Palestine palest lives, lives side by side with a secure state of Israel. I call on Israel and, and so that one day soon the state of Israel can live in peace and security and that the state of Palestine can take its dignified and rightful place. The Security Council remains committed to a comprehensive, just and lasting peace in the Middle East based on the vision of a region where two democratic states, Israel and Palestine, live side by side in peace within secure and recognized borders and result in the emergence of an independent democratic, contiguous and viable Palestinian state living side by side in peace and security with Israel and its neighbors. To our people to allow them to live in freedom and dignity in their homeland and to act in the interest of peace and security in our region. We underscore in this regard democratic, viable and contiguous state of Palestine with East Jerusalem as its capital living side by side with Israel in peace and security on the basis of the pre-67... The international community must not lose sight of the 
overarching goal of the two states living side by side in peace and security. Palestinians and Israelis could enjoy security and peace as neighbors. I now have the pleasure of giving the floor to Mr. Mohammed Kazai, Ambassador, Permanent Representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran to the United Nations, who will read a message from His Excellency, um, from the head of the movement of the NAM. Thank you. It is regrettable that Israel has persisted with policies which are prejudicial to negotiations on the core issues, namely the status of Jerusalem, settlement, refugees, security, and water. This has, in turn, exacerbated conditions on the ground, undermined confidence, deepened mistrust, and obstructed the resumption of the peace process. Israel has continued a step closer to achieving a sustainable solution on the basis of two states living side by side in peace and security. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. While favorably affirming support to the two state solution as the only viable option for peaceful coexistence between the the state of Palestine and Israel. Challenges to be overcome to settle the Israeli Palestinian conflict and to create the conditions for a fair, equitable, and lasting peace in the region. At the same time, the current situation is untenable and serves the interest of no party. Thus, a welcome leap forward by the international community is needed and would be timely to create a momentum and to deal with the scars of war in order to bring about a decisive change that will firmly put the region on the path towards peace, encompassing all demands in all their dimensions. The role of the United Nations Security Council, the General Assembly, and its, this, this very committee cannot be emphasized. Maintaining peace and the responsibility uh, of the international community to help Israel to, to help uh, realize that peace. The United Nations, which has been absented from uh, finding a practical solution, is, requir is required through the United Nations Security Council and the General Assembly to adopt uh, resolutions that emphasize the rights of people, especially the Palestinian people, and the basic principle upon which the United Nations was established, that is to realize international peace and security and maintain them. In addition to Article that, 49, to the settlements, all the settlements, are not simply an obstacle to peace, they are illegal. An assembly would now take a decision on draft resolution A 67 L.28, entitled Status of Palestine in the United Nations. A recorded vote has been requested. We shall now begin the voting process. Those in favor of draft resolution A slash 67 slash L dot 28, please signify. Those against and also the abstentions. Croatia votes against. Croatia is doing The General Assembly is now voting on draft resolution A 67 L28 entitled Status of Palestine in the United Nations. Will all delegations confirm that their votes are accurately reflected on the board? Well, there are a, lot of, a lot of countries are missing, no? This one doesn't work. This one doesn't seem to work. No, but there are some countries. 
some people on the there. Exactly. The voting has been completed. Please lock the machine. The result of the voting is as follows. In favor, 138. Opposed, 9. Abstentions, 41. I now call a short pause in the proceeding of this meeting. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the United States. Thank you, Mr. President. With a sovereign, viable, and independent Palestine living side by side in peace and security with a Jewish and democratic Israel risks the presence of war. We urge those who share our hopes for peace between a sovereign Palestine and a secure Israel. To join Thank you, Mr. President. Now, a member of the state of this organization, France has voted in favor of the two-state solution, of two states for two peoples, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and in security within a secure and internationally recognized border. They submit rights and set responsibilities and must be prepared to make compromises to achieve the larger good of a lasting peace. Let's change the situation on the ground. The only way to give the Palestinian people the state that they need and deserve, and to give the Israeli people the security and peace that they are entitled to, is through a negotiated two-state solution. We believe there's reason to doubt whether the step undertaken today is helpful for the peace process at this point in time. Welcome, Mr. Fair. We are that the resolution adopted today calls for a two-state solution and hence fully recognizes the right of Israel to exist in peace. I repeat, Israel's legitimate security concerns have to be addressed in a credible manner. Otherwise, the peace process will remain stalled. In this way, we endorse the peace efforts of the international community, calling for a solution with two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and security. And I'll give the floor to the distinguished representative of Belgium. Belgium. Belgium uh, fully agrees with the objective uh, which is sought by this resolution, namely a two-state solution two states living side by side in peace and security with a future state of Palestine which is uh, democratic, uh, viable, and uh, The only durable. sustainable way forward for the establishment of a sovereign, democratic, and viable Palestinian state living in peace and security alongside Israel. Diplomatic relations okay. with Israel and maintains good and friendly cooperation with that state. We are therefore fully conscious of Israel's legitimate security concerns and have an interest in promoting such a solution that would bring about statehood for Palestine and security and peace for both Israel and Palestine. Neither Honduras uh, supports, uh, with particular conviction, a, a solution between uh, both states, uh, Israel and Palestine, uh, peace in the Middle East. Uh, uh, as an unescapable yearning of the people of this region is uh, fully shared by the uh, Honduras and must find the uh, formulas that will uh, take on board the concerns uh, uh, of uh, security and other uh, issues of both states. We reaffirm our commitment to a two-state solution with the state of Israel and an independent 
democratic, contiguous, and viable state of Palestine, living side by side in peace and security, a commitment which uh, we uh, can be achieved on the basis of two-state solution with the state of Israel and the sovereign, democratic, contiguous, and viable state of Palestine, both in living in agreed borders and in joint peace and security. The Palestinian viable Palestinian state coexisting in peace and security with the state of Israel. With this aim, we support the establishment of a sovereign, viable and contiguous state of, of Palestine living side by side in peace and security with Israel to be found its implementation. Full support of the positions expressed in the Declaration of the High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Catherine Ashton. Resulting in two states, the state of Israel and the state of Palestine, living side by side in peace and security and in mutual Democratic, contagious, and viable state of Palestine, living side by side in peace and security. That allows a secure Israel to live alongside an independent future Palestinian state. Australia has concerns that this resolution, as does our support for Israel's legitimacy and right to security, in looking beyond your will not bring about a secure Israel living peacefully alongside a viable, contiguous Palestinian state. Indeed, the contiguous and viable Palestinian state living side by side with the state of Israel in peace within secure and recognized borders. Only a viable state of Palestine living side by side in peace and security within secure and recognized borders with the state of Israel. Five, the in the United Nations, the most practical and viable outcome is a negotiated Israel agreement and the, Palestine and the Palestinians aimed at establishing two viable states living side by side as provided for by the 1993 Oslo Accord. Thank you, Madam President. On the basis of a two-state solution based on the borders of 1967, whereby the State of Israel and an independent, democratic, contiguous and viable State of Palestine will be living side by side in peace and security. Such an agreement would bring a much needed two state solution under which Israel and the future independent Palestinian state would coexist side by side in peace and security. In light of this, Japan especially uh, emphasizes that peace will be uh, the fruit of a moderate voices to accept uh, a coexistence uh, of uh, two states, uh, independent states, uh, side by side uh, with uh, safe uh, and uh, internationally recognized borders. States, uh, for the Palestinian people. In the uh, framework uh, of that uh, well known formula of two states uh, living in peace uh, side by side behind uh, secure borders. The reason for our abstention, we believe that this um, formula is the only path uh, to ensure peace, security, and stability, not only between Israel and its immediate neighbors but also for the Middle East has remained uh, stagnant uh, and uh, there are greater risks uh, for the viability of a two-state solution uh, an Israeli and Palestinian state uh, who coexist in peace and security. Uh, Spain is convinced uh, that the creation of, a, of an independent uh, has not uh, strayed from this historic position and uh, without reservation we declare that Israel and Palestine have uh, the right to uh, to live uh, as independent and democratic states uh, who coexist uh, in peace uh, within uh, safe and internationally recognized borders. Including those of Palestinians for statehood and those of Israelis for security. Both are crucial elements for lasting peace, stability and prosperity in the wider region. Ending the conflict is of paramount importance to a comprehensive peace agreement based on negotiation mm -hmm. Uh, existing agreement between the parties to establish a Palestinian state living in peace and security with Israel. I uh, thank you. Madam. Can only be brought about to a peaceful negotiated settlement for a two-state solution. Jamaica has sought historically to maintain a balance on this issue, which of course includes Israel's right to exist within secure borders. 
The look of for the reception about that. Not that the reservation was implemented. And now it is important that it's side by side in peace and security with Israel, an independent and viable Palestinian state is We continue to strongly support the two-state solution, where it remains our hope that both the peoples of Israel and Palestine will one day soon live side by side within properly secured borders under a durable, just, and long-lasting peace. It is from this perspective that Papua New Guinea has changed of the Middle East is torture. My belief in life to reiterate the support for the two-state solution. What is most needed now is to provide new momentum to the peace process. In this regard, the one promoted by the Portrait Roadmap, which advocates for the existence of two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and security within secure and internationally recognized borders. Portugal upholds the right of all states in the region to live in peace within secure and internationally recognized borders. About the realization of this two state solution of an independent, sovereign, democratic, viable, and contiguous state of Palestine living side by side with Israel in peace and security on the basis of the two United 1967 borders. Moses has always supported the early realization of the Palestinian long overdue right to self-determination and the establishment of a sovereign, independent Palestinian state living side by side and at peace with the state of Israel with insecure borders on the basis of the pre-1967 borders. Moses also believes in a two-state solution where the state of Israel and Palestine can live alongside each other in peace within secure borders. It is unfortunate that the international community the only thing we were using is a historic opportunity to encourage all members to return to a peace process and to ensure peace and security for the peoples of the region. Egypt will do everything in its power to return to negotiations and to restore the... I have the honor to address the General Assembly today on behalf of the non-aligned movement on agenda item 37, question of Palestine. And relevant UN resolutions impose a serious threat to international peace and security as well as to regional stability. I think Madam the distinguished Fair. representative of the Islamic Republic of Iran. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of the European Union. It's a bit of a reminder of the urgent necessity to move forward towards the end of this conflict. Only a political solution to this conflict can bring lasting security, peace and prosperity to Palestinians and Israelis. A comprehensive, contiguous and viable state of Palestine, those living in agreed borders and enjoying peace and security. The European Union has repeatedly expressed its support and wish for Palestine to become a full member of the United Nations as part of a solution yeah. to the conflict. I shall continue my statement, Mugger. Here today at the General Assembly to grant the situation with Israel in good faith over the last two decades to regain their territories, their inalienable rights, and to live in peace and security. None of these legitimate goals, Palestinian for statehood will bring Israelis and Palestinians a step closer to achieving a sustainable solution on the basis of two states living side by side in peace and security. I thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Independent statehood is the legitimate right of the Palestinian people. It is the basis and prerequisite for the realization of the two state solution with the two countries living peacefully side by side. China supports the establishment of an independent state of Palestine with full sovereignty with East Jerusalem as its capital on the basis of the 1967 border. China is one of the appropriately resolved can lasting peace and stability in the Middle East be realized. Establish an independent state of Palestine with Palestine and Israel living peacefully side by side.